Hi, this is Catherine Mills and welcome to my studio. I have a short video on how to clean your brushes without using solvent. So I've just finished the background of this painting, nice and black, and an inevitable result of having a bunch of fun with paint is you have a bunch of brushes to clean up. So the next little segment, I'll show you how I do it without using OMS or odorless mineral spirits. I suppose I should point out that I'm an oil painter. So what's in these brushes is actually black oil paint. And the interesting thing about oil is like cleans like. So since I have oil basically and pigment embedded in my brush, I can use oil to clean it up. I don't necessarily need to use a solvent and expose myself and or others to unnecessary harm. So the first step, to take your laden brush and wipe out as much paint as you can with a rag. These shop towels are great for this purpose and be relatively firm and let's try to get all the paint out as much as possible. We want to be firm but of course you don't want to tear your bristles or destroy your brush. Wipe in the direction of the bristles so that you're not um, bending things or splaying the bristles out. So we want to wipe out all the paint from the bristles of the brush. And certainly when you get to this stage where you're finding it's uh, very little paint is coming off, you're almost ready to start the next stage of cleaning. I have an old jam jar here and it's filled up with safflower oil. So not sunflower oil, safflower oil. The reason for that is, is that safflower oil is often used in white oil paint as a binder for the pigment. It's a very light oil, doesn't yellow as much as linseed, but it is extremely slow drying. But the one benefit it has for cleaning brushes is, should I manage to leave some safflower oil residue in my brush, it's not an alien compound to my paint and therefore shouldn't cause any problems in subsequent layers. So you can see that even though we thought we had most of the paint out, the oil is certainly getting more paint out. So I just dip my brush in the oil and then offload onto the rag. And I'm going to continue this process till I see little or no black coming out. So you can see now, this is a hog hair bristle brush. It's a little bit battered. I've had it for a little while, but I've gotten most of the black paint out. And now I'm ready for the final step in cleaning, which is ivory soap and water. final step, because I used a, this is an ultimate bristle from Rosemary, but it's uh, essentially a hog hair brush and the natural bristles don't necessarily like water quite as much. They tend to curl much like my hair. So a final step, if, you, if that bothers you, you can uh, reshape the brush very gently and just take it with a bit of shop towel and wrap it up. You don't have to be super aggressive about this. And you can set the brush down and let it dry horizontally. So I hope that helps you with your brush cleaning. And it's an alternative method using natural oil and you don't need to use solvent. Eventually I will pour off the clean oil and put the sludge onto a rag and let it dry out and dispose of it. But it just minimizes all the uh, chemicals and components going down your sink. I hope you found that short video helpful on how to clean your brushes without solvent. I'll see you soon in the studio.